Learn about the future of the money today. NeocashRadio.com. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, some of you have been following my series about the need for a free state strategy. A more specific but big picture plan that will get us to liberty in our lifetime inside New Hampshire. Again, dictator Buster Gene Sharp says movements like ours need one, a strategy. We should listen to the guy who knows even more than us. Maybe this strategy would be implemented by an elected strategist. Alternatively, it could happen by crowdsourcing or electing the strategy itself. Anyway, whether we have a strategist or a strategy list, I probably will publicize some strategy suggestions. In fact, here is a suggested strategy off the top of my head. The goal is pretty much what was articulated by Jason Sorens in 2001. A two-thirds reduction in the amount of government the average New Hampshireite faces. And I would say this needs to be done by the year 2030. Any later, and it would probably be liberty in our lifetime, only for a minority of those people who were alive in 01. That's the year the goal was originally articulated. So half the people who heard the goal, or half the people who were alive at the time of the goal being set, should still be alive uh, at the time when the goal is reached, for us to, to be successful in my mind. Liberty in your lifetime. Anyway, now I should clarify a couple of things about this goal. Uh, by itself, a two-thirds reduction in the amount of government we each face wouldn't necessarily be a good thing. If the nearest shelter is more than a couple of steps away, fall to the ground immediately. A nuclear war could produce it. A plague could produce it. So to be clear, I'm talking about a two-thirds reduction in the amount of government over the average New Hampshireite's head without it having to be triggered by a complete societal collapse inside New Hampshire. And when I talk about government, I'm talking about the total weight of local, county, state, national, and international governments above the head of the average resident here. I'm not talking about your homeowners association or your rival club's government. Now that we have some clarity of goal, let's talk objectives. Specific means and timelines. This one does not take us to liberty in 2030, this particular scenario of mine. It's a suggested strategy for 2013 and maybe 2014. If this vid is popular, I may create another vid that goes deeper in time. So, suggested objectives for 2013 into early 2014. Number one, set up a functioning implemental uh, Im implementable strategizing process. Number two, increase our 2013 publicity by 15%, oh, I'm sorry, 50% over the amount we achieved in 2012. It doesn't get eggs. Goal three, increase by 50% the amount of charity which we were able to provide in 2012. Four, See to it Governor Hassan achieves or exceeds her stated objective of a 3% budget reduction in every state bureaucracy, if she really meant it. Or see to it that there's at least a 3% reduction in the overall size of the state government, measured in dollars. Five, increase Free State Now's 2013 activity by 50% over the amount it achieved in 2012. That's the call center project, which aims to get the FSP to its 20,000 participant marks by roughly 2015. By the way, I'll go through all of these one by one and talk about them in more detail, but first I just want to list them one after the other. Uh, the next one is number six. Come up with a means of measuring our successes on all these objectives with an accuracy of at least 80%. Okay, now if two-thirds of these six objectives were achieved and we did not a single thing besides I'd call that a marginally successful 2013. 
You want to bump into me like that? You want to bump into me? You're under arrest. Why are you harassing this man? If a third of them were achieved, and we continued our usual level of spontaneous activity, I'd call that a marginally successful 2013, too. But again, when I say 2013, what I really mean is, uh, you know, mid-2013 through mini mid-2014, because it's already mid-2013 as I'm reading this. So I guess the, the deadline for achieving this goal would be, you know, May of 2014. Now let's go back through these objectives one by one, and I'll suggest some means to efficiently achieve them. At the forefront of currency innovation, the Neocache Radio Podcast. Drop by for the latest cryptocurrency talk. Their audio format means you can stay up to bit date while you're driving. Learn about the future of the money today. Neocashradio.com, hey, hey.